Well, dear friends, and all our Ragnar, thank you very much for once again arranging this. I think it's a fantastic achievement that you have made this vision into reality with your staff. And let me start by saying I think the Arctic Circle and the concept where we take down all these barriers, these old hierarchies, these old subordinations is fantastic. And that's per perhaps the most needed thing in the world of today. Regarding relations between Iceland and the Faroe Islands, I would like to say that the Icelanders have always had the power of writing. So they have often said that the origin of the Faroe Islanders and the Icelanders are practically the same. Norwegian Vikings and people from, from Scotland and the Scottish Isles went uh, north and west to try to find a new place to live away from war and taxes. And the Icelanders claimed that the boats first arrived in the Faroe Islands, where, according to the Icelanders, the seasick people and the weak people, they went off, <laughs> and the strong and independent people went to Iceland. But we claim that this is not the right uh, story. Uh, we say that when all these people went west and north, everyone wanted to find the paradise, Faroe Islands, but only the best navigators could find the island, the rest just drove with the tide and ended up in Iceland and Greenland and so on. <laughs> and speaking about navigation and navigators, what we need in the world today and in the Arctic is, of course, good navigators. And we have all of you here because, as we see it from the Faroe Islands, the illegal and, uh, and uh, uh, atrocities war uh, from Russia and Ukraine and the atrocities now in the Middle East, in Israel and Palestine, uh, are again proving that there is an erosion in international law, in international cooperation. And the answer to these challenges is, of course, very much here in this concept. Uh, and we are concerned that this situation also can lead to an, uh, a backdrop in the achievements that has been, been achieved in other parts of the world, and not the least in the Arctic, where the most important thing for the Faroe Islands is combined with all the sustainable development goals, we need democratic sustainability. And what we see also now where security policy also is increasing, uh, military issues also are, are being debated around the Arctic, that the most important thing now is that we don't go back to old power structures where we are spectators to what happens in our region, but that it really is the people of the North Atlantic and the Arctic that takes the real decisions. Nothing about us without us, but I would call it democratic sustainability is the most important thing. And our approach towards the Arctic issue is as you all do here. The Arctic issues are the global issues of the world of today, and we must engage internationally in binding agreements uh, both, of course, on the climate change, and we look forward to COP28, but also on all levels of cooperation which this uh, forum uh, initiates. In the Faroe Islands, we have adapted our own uh, Arctic policy, of course, which our parliament will debate and adapt uh, this, this, uh, this autumn. Uh, and the approach is, again, a global approach, uh, where we have said that stability and security of the Arctic is uh, one of the eight goals we have uh, put, put uh, to, to, the, to the front. And we have set uh, international cooperation as the second most important goal for our, our Arctic cooperation. Environment, nature and climate is the third goal, which is the most important for all the people living here and for the world. Research, knowledge and um, advancement and education is the fourth goal. Preparedness and response also in security issues, and just to make an example, we do not have a, uh, an army in the Faroe Islands that do not want that. We do not want a, uh, a new uh, military investment in, in the Arctic, but there will be more activity. We have to combine this with civil purposes, with the civic security for transport, for peoples, for tourism, and so on, and environmental security. Then, of course, the living marine resource is the, is the sixth goal. Uh, fisheries is, as, as uh, Mr. Mr. Grimson mentioned, one of the most important things to feeding the world. Uh, and of course, we will focus on culture and society, 
and economic opportunities in sustainable development. But again, the most important thing in our Arctic policy is to engage in binding agreements, re-establish uh, international law, and support it. In other words, we want to get rid of fuel, uh, fossil fuel and fossil energy. We must not go back to fossil power structures, but now engage on all levels so all the peoples of the Arctic can engage directly, not as appendixes, but as direct stakeholders in everything that goes on in our region. Thank you very much.